What up, everybody? It's your boy, Agent, and I'm back. Now, this is the moment I have been waiting for, you know, as coronavirus has been going on this year. You know, I hope everybody stays safe. You know, we've been waiting on college basketball and a lot of the news to drop. Monday, they officially dropped the AP Top 25, and my North Carolina Tar Heels came in at number 16. I figured they'd be somewhere around there as they had the, one of the most disappointing seasons that I can remember in time since Roy Williams has been the coach. It was a very disappointing season last year. Finished 14-19, and 19, 13th in the ACC. It was nothing but the Cole Anthony show and injuries all over the place from Leaky Black to Baycott to even Garrison Brooks. But the shining light in all that, Garrison Brooks turned into an all-first-team ACC player and coming into this season – in his senior year, he is he is a, a preseason All-American, first team all ACC, getting a lot of accolades, and he's gonna have a breakout year. And that was a blessing. We get Baycott back, and that's great as well. And last year was the, the Cole Anthony show, who will be a first round draft pick. So coming back this year, I think this team will be a lot prepared, a lot better. And as as for sure, we are we are loaded in the front court as usual, because Roy does a great job of developing all the front court players from a Tyler Hansbrough to a Kennedy Brooks. Now you got a Garrison Brooks, you know. We just do a great job to do this thing. And I think he'll have a great year. And he's going to be the leader and the catalyst for this team. But the one thing I want to point out about this year's team is it's loaded with freshmen. We had a great freshman class coming in. Here's some of the guys. Caleb Love, one of the best point guards in the country who will lead this team. Walker Walker Kessler. You got Puff Johnson, which is Cam Johnson's little brother. We got Dayron Sharp, a big man out of Carolina. We got so I got another guard out of New York City, R.J. Davis. We had a loaded freshman class coming in, and I expect them guys to make a an outstanding contribution to this team, led by Caleb Love. And I think R.J. Davis will start alongside alongside Caleb Love in the backcourt, so we could have two freshmen starting there. Now the big, the two guys that we need to talk about. That are that need to step up this year is Leaky Black. He's battled injuries the first couple of years, been really inconsistent. I expect to have a big year from Leaky Black because we need that athletic wing. That's been the problem over these last few years, stopping us from being really to be able to compete for a national title. Because Duke, Kentucky's, you know, all these championship teams have them. The Gonzagas, the Butlers, the Baylors, um, they all have them. So we need that contribution or Obi Toppin, just an athletic wing player. Who can get his own shot and create everything. Andrew Playtech will be the glue guy this year because he's a senior guard and he's going to have a lot to say to get these guys going. He's going to come in and make some major contributions. So I look forward to that and I just look forward to this team becoming very good. Now, the schedule was released a few days ago and the first five games is nine conference games. So we got on the 25th against Elon. Then, then after that, we take on, no, I'm sorry, not East Elon. We take on Charleston. Game one, then we play UNLV, Iowa in the ACC Big Ten Challenge, Elon, Ohio State. That's a Saturday afternoon game about 2 o'clock. Then conference schedule begins December 22nd against NC State at home, and then it ends March 6th against our hated rival Duke. Now, these can change over time because, as we all know, COVID's been going on, but I expect this team to compete. They're coming in ranked 16th in the country coming in to start the year. I don't expect them to have a a bad season like they did last year. They're projected to finish fourth in the ACC. My guess is behind Virginia. Virginia is probably the number one team, most definitely. Duke's ahead of us for sure. So, you know, I expect big things out of this team. I expect Roy to lead this team to an impressive comeback this year and just to lead the Callis. I think Caleb Love has a chance to win freshman of the year because this guy has bounced and tremendous upside. I'm very optimistic about this team because last year it looked really rocky and it was really rough, but... With some of these guys, the other guys that can come in and make a difference, it's going to be Sterling Manning. He's been there for a couple years. We also got, don't sleep. And Dayron Sharp, I think, is going to be another big man freshman who will develop and become a stud. But we got a long way to go from this season, and we're only a couple weeks out from, from guys getting to work and making some, making some headway. But preseason practice, I've been seeing Kobe White. I've been seeing Theo Pence. I've been seeing the Tyler Hansbrough come in and practice with these guys and make them better and show them what the Carolina way is. We got to get back to that. We got to get back to that way of competing and playing hard and making a name for ourselves. And, you know, like I said, sometimes it's, just, sometimes it's those years. In 2019, 2020 wasn't this year. Now, 2020 hasn't been kind to us, but it's 2020, 2020, 21 season, I think we'll be good to these Tar Heels. Like I said, I'm optimistic. We'll see how far we can go, but it all de depends on how these freshmen can develop. 
how this guard play will, will come. Anthony Walker will be another guy, too. Or Anthony Harris will be another guy, too. We need to watch out for as well. But coming off injury, so we need to see. It's a lot of guys in the mix. There's a lot of fold. I trust Warrior. He knows what he's doing. So only time will tell. But, hey, Carolina basketball is almost there. Almost start the season. Had to give you guys a little preview about what's going to happen. So look forward to seeing how these guys are going to do. Hey, you know what to do. Leave a like under this under this channel, under this video. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter. That's at Keeping the Score. Everybody, it's your boy, Agent, and I'm out.